unbeaten in 14 league games, four clean sheets on spin, five wins on spin. It's all coming together for Wednesday. Adam Moore on Wednesday continued with a 3-5-2. Three changes though from the team that beat Wickham. Two of those changes enforced. Firstly, a place in midfield for Dennis Adenaran, who's been out for much of the season injured. He replaced George Byers, who went off with a, a cut foot. And a change on the left side of uh, midfield, left wing-back position. Marvin Johnson coming in for Reese James, who looks like he's going to be out for a while with ankle ligament damage. One more change, and possibly the one that raised a few eyebrows. Lee Gregory coming in up front for Callum Patterson. The full team, Dawson in goal, back three of Palmer, Iofa and Fameo. Midfield, Hunt, Volks, Adena and Johnson. Windass dropping back into attacking midfield and Smith and Gregory up front. A little bit surprising there for me, Patterson dropped. I thought he were man of the match against Wickham. I thought he were best player on Park by an absolute landslide. I thought he was fantastic. Proper centre forwards performance, proper battering ramp, number nine. Made things happen, put them under pressure and a vital component and is getting them points so a little bit surprised that he was dropped down to the bench today that said Lee Gregory has got a really really good record against Fleetwood so maybe that's understandable as well and at home do you want two big lads or do you want a little bit of a blend something different because you're probably going to have more at ball it's probably going to be less of a you know a counter-attacking game so a shock to me but on the other hand I can understand the thinking there's a quick look at Fleetwood. Brown's Fleetwood came and set them up in a 4-2-3-1. Lynch in goal, back four of Johnston. And Ciala, Earl and Andrew at the back. Warrington and Sarpong in the holding positions. Amateur, Vela and Hayes in the attacking midfield positions. And Musqui at centre forward. Garner obviously having uh, gone back to Carlisle after a 10-year stint away. Scrappy opening 10 minutes. It was a scrappy game actually for 90 minutes. I'm, I'm, I can't dress it up any other way. But uh, started as it meant to go on. Let's put it that way. Scrappy opening 10 minutes. Uh, not much happened. Uh, lots of giving ball away cheap. Both teams. Um, the number of times. And it, this was a theme throughout the game actually. That players under not too much pressure were we're making wide passes and putting ball out for a throw. You know, it's either a yard behind man or five yards in front of him and he couldn't get there. And uh, But Wednesday had to be on the guard and Dom Iofa, probably seven or eight minutes in, made a terrific double block. He's had a, a very good game today. Uh, and probably two minutes after that, he's gone up and won a fantastic header. He's ended up rolling over there, kid, and had a bit of an awkward landing and pulled his shoulder. Uh, so he, he's done well. Uh, in that first 10 minutes but it was a it was a really sloppy opening 13 minutes rangy pass from Marvin Johnson down left hand side Smith cuts back inside gets away loses his man drills a shot on near post there's not really anybody in there for him to square it to I think he can probably do a bit better get a bit more on it uh, but that's really the first sort of attempt um, like I said it's a very scrappy game and Fleetwood, as has been mentioned many times of a week in papers and radio and everything else, only ever losing by odd goal this season. That seems to be their thing. So, well-organised team, good shape, hard to break down, don't score many goals themselves. And I think that's going to be uh, what cost them this season. We were always going to be tight. And Wednesday took the lead 17 minutes through Marvin Johnson, who probably created that first chance for Smith. And it starts with Wednesday starting to get a bit of a foothold in game, uh, having having some good possession at ball. And there's probably a five six minute spell when they, when they're having a lot at ball, a lot of decent possession. But it's the final balls letting them down. So four five six passes, good final ball, just that little bit of a letdown. Um, but it's during this little window where we're, where we're having a bit of possession that we score the goal, which is nice move six passes. We work it down left hand side. They shuffle across because they, they kept the shape really well, Fleetwood today, I thought. They shuffle across, but rather than panicking, we just go back across to the other side. And then it's a little ball in. Liam Palmer takes responsibility, drives on. 
finds Windass with a little ball outside at boot. And Windass does really well, actually. It, it just looks like a bog standard square pass, but he does enough just to keep it away from keeper's grasp because it's behind defender and keeper. He knows Marv's not back. He knows he's got to try and get there. So it's a lovely ball just through that gap of the the desperate leg at centre back and, and groping hand at keeper right through that gap. And Johnson comes in round back. And he's got an open goal more or less, but the way it comes across, it's so easy to leather them. You, you can just see net bulging. You know, you can see the striker's eyes getting big. Uh, but he does really, it looks like he's going to leather it like that. Then just at last minute, he just clearly twigs, uh, just make sure it goes in. And he just changes his body shape a bit and he opens himself up, makes sure he gets his head above ball and just sort of side foots it in. Still, still goes out into the net, but just that little shift to take it with his instep, it's really well played by Johnson that, because that's the sort of chance that can end up on them compilation videos you get at Christmas of, of misses, do you know what I mean? So, he's coming in, looks like he's going to leather it, and then he just thinks on, opens his body. It's really good play by Johnson, but also terrific play in the lead-up from Palmer and uh, Windass with that cross. As I said, I thought Fleet would have got quite a good shape. They've got that 4 2 3 1. Uh, they're not particularly pressing hard, but they're not sat right off and they're just sort of they're just shuffling across pitch like a column and, ju and just trying to cut spaces out. Um, it was a scrappy game. Wednesday didn't really get the rhythm going. And that combined with the way Fleetwood were working and the, how tight they were it made it a frustrating half, really. Um, for me, well, again, I thought it looked good. You know, second full game back. Uh, really powerful in air. He, he, he won a lot of redders. Uh, there was just one bit. He got he got spun. He got in a little bit too tight. got spun in in front of the south stand. Um, but common sense, he knew there were people behind him. So, and and he's, just, he's just pulled the kid. You know, and nine times out of ten, he probably gets a yellow card for that. But sometimes you've got to take one for the team and... Uh, uh, I thought he did well overall, apart from that, probably that one occasion he got got spun. Uh, now, their kid got his revenge about half a minute later. For me, he came out with ball. He's just got his head up for passing. Kid just come through back at him. So, a uh, little bit of tit for tat in there. Uh, and, and that's what it were. It was a little bit, little bit of a scrappy game. Not a scrap. Uh, I, I didn't think they come with any massive spoiling tactics or out or... Uh, but just scrap it bitty. It would have bitty half a football. A referee, to be fair to him, he gets to half time and I'm saying to him, he said, I've got to be fair to ref. He's tried to let it flow a bit. You know, got 16 fouls in the first half. Uh, he, didn't, he didn't bring any cards out and I think he was giving players every opportunity. Um, and of course, in second half, as it got more and more scrappy, he, uh, he ended up giving more, of course. But first half, the ref had a, a decent game and... and Give both teams a chance to have a go, really. It's probably half an hour before Wednesday's next proper chance. Uh, Liam Palmer, little one two with Jack Hunt, gets Windass away that right hand side, and again, it's a lovely ball from him. He was floating about Windass today. I was really impressed with his movement, popping up on left. In, you know, he's playing in number 10 role as such, but he's popping up on left, he's popping up on right. Really good ball in. Uh, Gregory puts it just wide at post. Should he go with his near foot? Can he get some? A little bit rusty, maybe. I, I think an on form Lee Gregory probably uh, gets that on target at least, but and test keeper. Um, but really, that's probably three chances in, in half an hour that once it's created. It's just one, one of them sort of games. Dawson's had no to do, he's, he's not had a save to make really, but he, he's out sharp, there's a long ball over top and he comes right out to the corner of his 18 yard box, you know, in fact, I thought, for a minute I thought he was going to come out of 18 yard box, uh, and he was more or less playing like sweeper keeper today because uh, they didn't really have any meaningful attacks Fleetwood in that sense, and a lot of time, they were getting ball forward quickly, but a lot of it were, were coming straight through. Fleetwood's probably first proper chance in the game comes uh, just five minutes before half-time. Hayes on left-hand side, 
because in a burst in run, Hunt's coming with him all the way, uh, but in fact Hunt's got such a, an head of steam up, Ace turns inside, Hunt sort of keeps going, uh, and ends up knocking into Palmer, who will come into close inside it. Really good play by there, lad, cuts inside, and Domai off it again. And, and another excellent game today, he comes in, makes double blocking, and then uh, gets ball away. But really, sort of 40 minutes, that's probably their best real uh, carved opportunity at game. I mean, I'm trying to make it sound exciting because it, it weren't, you know. I mean, when's he's gone in at break 1 0 up and neither keeper's made a save? Um, it be that sort of day, really. Um, talked earlier in season, though, uh, about Wednesday in air, we were conceding all the medders. Um, one thing I didn't notice in the first half, especially uh, for Mayo. I offer Palmer all winning so many headers in there. It, it, such a marked difference to this time last season when every time there were a ball slung in our box, you shit in. There's a confidence, and you, there's you know opposition teams week after week slinging things into the box, and you're quite oh yeah, because you you actually believe that our players are going to get out end of it, um, and that happened all day all day today. For me, all I offer Palmer, all getting the red on stuff. All three made terrific blocks today, by the way. Uh, I won't say they were full Fleetwood chances, but when they got them sort of half chances that, you know, give a forward a chance, they were getting the bodies on line. Um, and over a season, you've got to put in performances like that. Second half, well, it's more the same, really. Um, scrappy. Little bits of ball, final ball, bit sloppy. Um, like I said, ball, it just seemed to go for a lot of throw-ins today. Volks has a sort of half chance. It's a bit of a bobbler from about 20-odd yards, maybe five minutes after break. Uh, and a dinner and gets brought down. Kid takes him out from behind. Referee's got no choice. You know, I was saying first half, I thought he tried to let things go, but eventually you've got to clamp down, haven't you? So... A dinner and clip from behind, that's a yellow card, first at game. Uh, Windass steps up and the confidence he's got at minute, you know, to take a strike on from that distance. So it's cop end, it's, up, it's flying on target, fair play to them because the wall does the job, they stay nice and compact and tight and then they get up to it uh, and it goes out for a corner. But yeah, the, the same pattern really, this half. Uh, some neat little bits poor final execution or a lot of under it passes today both teams not not just Wednesday uh, both teams under it passes little little moves three or four men you think oh we're going somewhere here we're going somewhere here and that little under it pass just not got enough ping on it to, to reach man it's aiming for you know what I mean it's it's rolling two yards short when, when they're, they're already off on move and so the defender can step in and that that's frustrating whatever team you support when that's happening Fleetwood did have a spell, but because every team has a spell in a game, you know, it doesn't matter if you're top at table or bottom at table, you know, in a game, you don't have it all your own way. And I would say 60 minutes to 70 minutes, they had a little spell where they were moving ball about quite well. Uh, I was quite impressed with their kid on right wing, uh, Promise, what was his name, or Cherry, something like that. They're not a great side. But he'd, got, he'd just got some little flashes in there and I thought, well, he, he could be a bit of a player. I'd like to see what he could do down middle. He was only a young lad. I think they got him from League of Ireland. Um, and like I said, they had a little spell, eight, nine, maybe ten minutes tops. But they were using ball quite well. But they just didn't have that, same as Wednesday, they didn't have that final ball. They didn't have that final product. They didn't have someone who looked razor sharp right up at, top end at pitch um, and Wednesday sort of weathered that little 10 minute spell and then it it started going back to a bit of a 50-50 a scrappy match in fact it's during that little window they had the little spell they got a free kick on um, left hand side they got all big lads up from back and uh, that lad just drilled it straight at Dawson and it was a it was a fearful free kick 
it, one of them, he decided obviously he's going to take shots on. And then he's desperate then not to sail it over at bar. So he sort of half pulls it straight straight down Dawson's throat. Probably a minute after that, though, his thing with inconsistency. Like I said, I thought Ref had a decent first half. But second half, they've just had that free kick. Ball breaks down left-hand side. Marvin Johnson's away. Um, knocks ball past man. Has got him for pace. Gets took out. Absolutely nailed him. 100%. It's got... I don't know what the ref thinks he's seen because he's got no reason to go down because he's clearly got man done for, for pace. He's done him on toast. So when he's passed, all he's looking then is either driving into a box or, or getting a delivery in. So there's no reason to go down. Ref, I sometimes think this is where you could do with refs who's actually played to a decent level. Uh, nailed on. That, of course, that gets old bows going. Everybody's up in arms about that. Um, and in a way, sometimes in a game... I think you need that. Sometimes I think you need a, a crap referee decision because it, it just sparks crowd up when there's a lull and, and things had got into a lull. Patterson comes on. Ashley dealt with not starting today for me. I'm a bit old-fashioned. Well, great result last week, same team. But uh, obviously we've got games coming thick and fast and probably Dad and Moore wants Gregory to get some uh, match time under his belt. But Patterson comes on for Smith. Obviously, he's staying away from playing two big lads at home. And Patterson gets involved straight away. And it, it, it doesn't matter how poor a game is. It, it doesn't matter tactically what's happening. Or this or other. There's never an excuse to not have endeavour. And that's something you can never accuse Patterson of, you know. He puts him centre back. He makes things happen by forcing mistakes out of opposition. Because sometimes you're not always going to get best service. Sometimes you're not going to get brilliant crosses in for your head. Sometimes you're not going to get lovely slip through balls. Sometimes you've got to make things happen yourself. Not, not always, particularly with what you do, getting ball and beating six men. But just by putting people under pressure in, he'll do that all day. I thought he made an impact again today, Patterson. Um, yeah, Smith, quiet game. Um, although he got away at one point. Smith just just before he went off actually it's a ball over top and he's he's on halfway just just in there half just past halfway he has a look right across the line and he makes his run and he sort of dips back in and then he goes he's easily on he's easily on and he, he probably gets 10 yards before again and I mentioned it last week with Wickham game um and then you get that slow flag. I know there are bank rules, see what happens, but if you think he's off, just get fucking flag up. He does oh it does fucking about with rules, aren't they? You know, I mean and then they were all that fast the other week with Man United and Man City. I know this is a Wednesday thing. But that's a joke. That's an absolute joke. I don't know why I'm getting wound up. I'm but it's, it's, it makes a mockery at rules, doesn't it? it may, so, but they're always faffing with stuff, aren't they? <sighs> Dennis has a shot. Yeah, about 75 minutes, something like that. Actually, just before that, Windass were, were involved in it. He, he went down a bit worried there. And I'm, I'm hoping, you know, he got subbed later on in the game. And I'm hoping it weren't because of this... Uh, him and their lad come together, uh, football, it's not a foul, they've sort of collided into each other, but as they were falling down, it's a bit of an awkward one, and their lad's trailing leg, you could see his, his boot raked down uh, Windass's ankle, and he played on after that, and he looked okay, but I do wonder, I hope there's no in that, we, we ain't been played that came off towards end of the game with Darren Moore, so um, that's something to keep an eye on. Because it's a lively game, Windass, actually. I thought it were, thought we were one of our, our best threats going forward. But yeah, just after that move, Dennis Dennis got away on sort of inside left channel and it's an absolute Colin West of a, a strike. Uh, I mean, Jeff first, 66, underside at Bath. This woman here, underside at Cobb, roughly. He got right underneath it. Uh, but 
can't fault him having a goal because we've seen what he can do from distance. But oof, he really got under that one. Ten minutes to go. They're on the take. Liam Palmer gets in, get, goes, goes across right towards left back spot actually, but he goes across because we've been slowing him down. He just goes in. Nice standing tackle, nice and hard, gets ball. Dennis flips it out. Patterson, this is what I'm on about. He affects things when he comes on. Gets a really good strong getter. Completely takes their back line out of the game. Gregory's away down middle. And he's got three yards on there, lad. And probably five years ago, I think he probably streaks away and puts that in back in net. And as it is, he touches it on towards box. Um, and you've got to give credit because they're their centre back and Ciala. he gets back and he gets an absolutely vital toe in sliding in could have been a penalty actually if he'd got that wrong fantastic tackle and Ciala. Um, just enough to tow it away Gregory recovers it comes back inside and Ciala makes another another great block you know brilliant bit of defending by there lad um, so I can't press him over all that Ciala. where did they get him from I'll have a look oh maybe not he's 30 Look like a young lad. Zaire. Man, he's been about a bit. Macclesfield, Accrington, Southport, Grimsby, Hartley, Pulshaws, Beamswich, Bolton, Fleetwood. He has been around block, hasn't he? 30 year old, I'll tell you what, he showed, he showed some bloody speed there to get back for a 30 year old fella. Ah, did right one. Well. They've done the classic away performance, Fleetwood. They've kept it tight, they've kept a good shape, they've shuffled about and shuffled about and they've marked space, they've tried to have little passages when they can without committing too many forward. They've kept it down to 1-0, which apparently seems a bit sturdy of their season, what they, what they do. And that last 10 minutes you've got a chance, aren't they? So they get a bit of kitchen sink and that's when Wednesday really stand up to be counted. I offer Ed, tackle, blog, for my old... Palmer, they're all at it. Um, and then probably the best bit of game that that lad uh, I was talking about before, uh, Promise. Lovely little ball, little little straight pass that nobody's expecting. Their lad makes a little curved run in. Dawson, absolutely fantastic. Talked about it in Newcastle game when, when he, he went out to that side of box with that chance that, that Isaac had, that Isaac's second chance. Stays big. It stays big. So easy to come out and start going down. But he comes out, stays big, as long as he can. As long as he can. Kid comes in, stays big. But then the common sense, it closes his legs. Because we've seen, every time I turn on match at day, there's a keeper getting nutmegged. It's a, do you remember, I remember when I was younger, coaches, put it to the far post. Always put it to the far post. You've got a bigger area to shoot at and if keeper does get some on it, somebody might tap in, rebound and it's a... They must tell them to blast it at keeper these days because number of nutmegs I see on match at day. Drill it straight at keeper, guaranteed a goal. What sort of world are we living in? Anyway, not with Dawson. Stays big, stays big. Then gets down, clogs legs, no chance of that. Fantastic save. Saves Wednesday, two points really that. Um and it just shows that although Wednesday never looked under any particular threat, never looked under any particular pressure, there's always going to be that chance, I'll say it every week, there's always going to be that one chance in a game for the team. That were theirs and our keeper stood up to be counted. Fantastic save. Clock's winding down, four minutes of injury time. Gregory does really well, intelligence, gets onto a back pass, cuts it out before their lad, knocks it past him, he's away, this time he is away, goes on into the box, he opens his body, I thought he's, I thought he was going to open his body, just nudge it out with outside at boot and then just curl it, with, but he just nudges it and I think he knows what he's going to do, keeper comes out, and almost the opposite of what we were just saying with Dawson. Just talked about Dawson, came out, stays big, stays big, tries to force Edda from striker, great goalkeeping. Their lad comes out, straight to ground, Gregory nudges it past him, over arms, penalty all ends up. That's just difference there. That highlights, the penalty we get there highlights how brilliantly Dawson did 
five, ten minute before. 94 minutes, chance to make it 2 0. Great for Wednesday's goal difference. Gregory steps up, looks confident, and even when he's planted his standing foot at side at ball, I thought it was going to be a goal all ends up. Looks like he's just going to proper drill it right hard down middle. And then just as he's connecting with ball, he sort of hooks his knee up in that little. It's like that little chipping motion that. Um, Perlo used to do. You know when, you know when it he'd got a pass rolling towards him and there were a, a midfielder charging in, and he just used to do that little hook. He just sort of, I ah, struck ball Gregory and then he just got a bit, and it's off at bar. I've seen worse. I've seen far worse. Took from that penalty spot in front of that that stand. Um, in fact, I mentioned Colin West earlier when we were talking about that Adenaran shot. Oh. Yeah, of it, but he'll be gutted with that. But he'll, he'll have been desperate for a goal, you know. When obviously Smith were on pitch, who I think would usually take penalties. Um, and then that's whistle three points for Wednesday, another clean sheet. Um, I described it as an ugly performance earlier, that but actually, that's too harsh. It weren't, it weren't an ugly performance, it was hard working. It would organised. Everybody stuck to the task. Now, I mean, two minutes before that penalty, Liam Palmer makes two brilliant blocks in box. Back three have done that all day. Midfield, it didn't really work for them today. But Windass were lively. He got a lot of good movement, but a lot of balls we were trying to get to him got cut out. Um, stuff weren't coming off for Volks. I mean, he's been magnificent last three games. Stuff weren't really coming off for him today. But what they all did... Every one of them that, that played today, they'll put a shift in. They all track them in. They all got a toe in. They all got an head in. They all block shots. They all block passes. Um, they tried to make things happen. Didn't always come off for them. But the endeavour that were there, the hard work were there. Um, and it, even like I said, Patterson comes off bench. They were just having a spell before he come on. He come on and just level things up again. Just with that endeavour that drive that determination and it just sort of lifted Wednesday back up because we just sloped off a bit and it was one of them performances everybody's worked out everybody's put a very good shift in um, these never get spanked by many goals Fleetwood um, it's another clean sheet and uh, this is a game to consign to history books as three points nobody's going to remember much of what happened in this game Probably in six weeks' time, never mind six years' time. So, another win, another clean sheet. Um, not a classic, but hard working, team working performance. Real work ethic in there, and uh, a real, like I said, a real team spirit. You can see there's that togetherness that, oh yeah, it's not coming off for us today, but. We've all got to stick at it. And that's that's what you like to see as a fan. Man at match. Not a great game. But everybody were the the cobblers off. But Palmer was superb again. What a season he's having, by the way. Unbelievable. I offer so many blocks today it looks like his old self again you know the the player that we we used to rave about you know played it year only a couple of years ago looking like his old sin uh, mind you i've said it in an old season i've always felt he looks better in middle you know that on that round side of a three and there's that thing about you know drifting out he's had a great game in there that for my old Young lad, absolute unit, wins headers, wins tackles. One bit today got a little bit too tight, but I mean, he's been out that long, that's just a little bit of rustiness uh, there. He's had a terrific game. What a, he's a powerful lad. And he's not afraid to bring the ball out either, by the way. He's not afraid to just give somebody's shoulder and go on a little 15 yard burst and drag you out and, and drag you up pitch a bit. It would have to be somebody out at, out at back line. Palmer, I offer for mail. I could probably toss a coin to decide it. 
I'll get you big dumb. But by an air's breath from from hell. Uh, because he, he's been building to this. His last three games have been really good. Um, and when McGuinness missing, there were big question marks. So we're going to cope with loss of him. You know, everybody's being on. We need a new set of half. We need a new set of half. And then Big Dom stepped into the middle and gone, well, I hope, remember me, I, I can play a bit. Yeah, Big Dom, man at match. And right pleased for them as well, because beginning of the season, I was like, oh, God, he's not the same player. But hard work. He's really brought it back round. Fair play to the lad. Brilliant game today. Uh, really pleased for him. So that result. Puts Wednesday up onto 58 points. Plymouth today, 4-2 winners against Cheltenham. And after that was a game they were always going to win. So they're still three points ahead on 61. But of course Wednesday do have that game in hand. Big news in there though. Seven points ahead of Ipswich now Wednesday. Ipswich dipping. 2-1 at Oxford. Um, Late goal from him, that Brannigan, he impressed me when we've played them Oxford this season. That Cameron Brannigan, he does put him centre about in middle of the park. He is an handful. So, yep, seven points cleared of Ipswich. Game in hand on Plymouth. Things are going really well. Really well for Wednesday. Been busy in transfer markets, old Ipswich, and uh, you want to bolster your squad, but... Now and again, too many new faces can upset Apple Cart a bit, can't it? Is that going to happen? See you next week.